It's been more than a month, but the Capitol insurrection is still top of mind. Congress just ordered the creation of a new commission to investigate how and why it happened. Investigative reporter Eric Flack from our sister station in D.C. looks into a serious topic. Is there a growing threat from extremist groups inside our own country? Months before the January 6th siege on the U.S. Capitol, President Trump's FBI director warned of the growing domestic threat posed by violent extremism. In recent years, we've been laser focused on threats by racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists. Now, after one of the darkest days in our nation's history, a new crackdown on homegrown terrorism, this time from the Biden administration. The rise of domestic violent extremism is a serious and growing national security threat. So how big a role did domestic violent extremist organizations play in the Capitol riots? We're gonna keep fighting. How are you gonna get I, don't out of be, I don't need to be in DC to keep the fight going. Although Proud Boys leader Enrique Terrio was tossed out of DC the day Day before the insurrection, four others identified as Proud Boys members by the FBI have been indicted on federal charges, some for conspiracy in planning the attack. They are among 13 defendants tied to right wing domestic extremist organizations or espoused white supremacists arrested and charged by federal prosecutors. Their radical ties often touted in government news releases full of headlines seemingly sending the message domestic extremism will not be tolerated. More than 150 others arrested in the attack identified as radicalized militants without any specific ties to any one organization. These extremist groups are the, the engine, the pumping heart of the extremism that we saw activated on the Hill. But they were not the only ones present. The Southern Poverty Law Center released its Year in Hate and Extremism report. The SPLC saying it's identified 838 hate groups operating across the United States in 2020. That's down from recent years, but still a serious threat. Tracking 15 different hate groups operating in Maryland, 19 in the district, and a whopping 33 in Virginia, by far the most in our area. In fact, ACLED, another group that tracks political violence and protests, ranked Virginia as one of five states nationwide with a moderate risk of increased militia activity. Is this threat going to go away now that the Capitol riot is in our rearview mirror? The threat is not going away. It exists as we speak. Eric Flack reporting. The Anti-Defamation League says it will take more communication and collaboration among all levels of law enforcement to monitor the growing threat from domestic extremists to stop any more potential violence.